Hey everyone, let's talk about Google's big announcement from today, which I feel is a more impactful announcement for Google's product users, especially folks like you and me who use Google Docs, Google Mail, Google Slides over Microsoft products. Now, it is interesting that Google's announcement came today, sort of getting ahead of Microsoft's scheduled event on March 16th, where they are planning to share their vision of future of work with AI. I make videos around exciting tech. Please hit the subscribe and like button. You doing that really encourages me to keep doing this. Now we know this has been the year of generative AI with ChatGPT, Bing, Stable Diffusion and Midjourney taking the lion's share of tech news. So much so that Google had to declare a code red in December in which they asked all teams with user products to add AI capabilities. And that's where this announcement kind of comes in. Took them about three months to get here, but here they are. So the first announcement is generative AI is coming to workspace apps. Google announced a suite of generative AI features for its various workspace apps, including Google Docs, Gmail, Sheets, and Slides. With these features, AI will help users to say, summarize the emails that they have received, take that and use that to draft a new email or reply back or even prioritize emails. Users will be able to brainstorm and proofread and write and rewrite documents in Google Docs. It will also allow users to bring their creative vision to life by allowing them to auto-generate images, audio or video in Google Slides. It will also allow users of Google Meet to capture notes and generate new backgrounds and even create personalized messages for marketing campaigns or any particular message that you want to send. The AI will actually help you. These are truly exciting features and something that's going to help folks increase their productivity by a n number of fold. The other big announcement comes just a few days after OpenAI started providing their API to developers. In a similar style, Google announced the Palm API for Palm, which is Google's large language model. Now, this will provide developers an easy and safe way to build AI applications or features on top of language models. This, I feel, is an interesting announcement with a lot of potential. I just feel like the AI developer race just got hot. The third announcement is that these generative AI capabilities are coming into Google Cloud. Now, this one is more enterprise focused, but the idea is that developers who use Google Cloud will be able to build and customize their own models and apps using generative AI. They will have access to Google AI's models such as Palm on Google Cloud. Now, it'll be interesting to see how large companies who use Google Cloud will leverage these AI capabilities and these generative AI capabilities to build their own app experience and improve those app experience for their own users. I think time will tell how this announcement is adopted by the Google developer community. Overall, I think these are great announcements from Google as they try to get ahead of their competition by really providing AI capabilities to millions of users. It goes without saying, the AI race is definitely on. If you've liked what I've shared in this video, please like and subscribe. Until I see you again, stay true, stay consistent.